Let's talk about if you're trying too hard to unlearn your pain. I remember being in chronic pain and by the end of my journey, you know, you've tried so many medical interventions and I was feeling really desperate, like so many of us do, to really get rid of my pain at any cost. And sometimes that cost was quite a bit, depending on the medical intervention. And by the time I had learned about Dr. Sarno and started using a mind-body approach, I was just so desperate to get rid of my pain. But the problem here is that I felt a lot of pressure so that I could start leaving my life again. I was in my early 20s and I just kept imagining what my life would be like when I was going to be pain free, which can bring hope, of course, but it also brings a lot of pressure and intensity to this mind body approach. And so something that I see a lot with people is that they're doing all the right strategies, but there's just such a level of pressure and intensity behind it that they want to get rid of their pain now. And I get it. I remember being at the end of my journey and you really want to get rid of your pain at any cost. But the problem again is that that pressure causes your brain and your nervous system to feel in more danger. And so I know for myself, when I first started doing the strategies and, you know, getting in touch with my emotions, it wasn't just so that I felt safe and I felt soothed and I felt cared for and I was really helping myself get in touch with my emotions. It wasn't just about that. It was about, I need to do all of these things to get rid of my pain. And so, you know, any of us in this community, we're using this because we want to unlearn our pain. And I get that. But again, the problem is just the level of danger your brain starts to feel. And it creates frustration. It creates this fixing mentality. And it creates a lot of focus on the symptom to try and get rid of them. And so all of these really cause us to just feel in more and more danger. And a lot of times when I'm working with people, I can almost feel it in their body as I'm in session with them. Just the level of intensity and the level of determination to get rid of their symptoms. But again, it prevents the recovery because if pain is a danger signal, the more danger your brain feels in, unfortunately, the more that danger signal is going to be sent. And so the issue is that the pressure to get better causes us to feel in more and more danger. And so the solution here, you know, really is changing the goal. And I know this is hard and it might feel like you're faking it at first, but early on in your journey, don't make the goal to get rid of your pain. Make the goal working towards safety. You will get farther in this if you do all the strategies, if you do all the journaling, if you do all the emotional processing with the goal in mind of helping you feel safe. And by helping yourself feel safe, you're going to be more compassionate to yourself. You're going to be more at ease with the pain. And also being curious will become a lot easier to do. And so early on, make the goal safety. You'll get farther this way, I promise. And naturally, over time then, you'll start to unlearn your pain. But we need to have that goal be a backseat. I know it's the motivation of why you're here, but try not to make it the main focus. And so this is what I usually tell people the first session I have with them, that the goal needs to be safety, not to get rid of your pain at first. Again, early on, I don't care what a person's pain does. I don't want them to be in pain, but their pain will be all over the place. It'll act weirdly. It might increase at first when we're doing emotional work, but that doesn't matter so much. And if you can let that go and take the pressure off, you'll be more at ease with the symptoms. And like I said, you'll be more curious about them, which is going to help you unlearn your pain. It's very much like, you know, outcome independence with somatic tracking, right? With somatic tracking, the harder you try to make that symptom move or change in the moment where you're dealing with it, 
the longer somatic tracking will take to have any effect. But early on, where I see somatic tracking actually cause your symptom to reduce right away is the people that can just take the pressure off and just really be curious and allow it to do its thing. And by doing this, their brain feels more at ease and safe. And then a happy side effect is the symptom will start to decrease really quickly for some people. And it's because the main goal during that somatic tracking that they did was not trying to make the symptom go away. Now, then sometimes people bounce back and they're like, you know, the symptom decreased when I did it the one time. So then they frantically try and make the symptom go away or their pain go away while they're doing the tracking. And then it doesn't actually do anything. And so the attitude is more important than any strategy that you do. I promise you that. And so remember this, I've seen people do somatic tracking perfectly. I've seen people do the right technique when they're working with their emotions. And it doesn't do anything if the pressure is too high to get rid of the symptom. So really work on an attitude of safety. Make this your goal today and see how it goes. Again, you can go back tomorrow to putting a lot of pressure on your recovery if you want. But try to make the goal safety today. So please put your questions or comments down below. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as I'm going to release videos every week that are going to help you unlearn your pain. Take care.